Hey, Al, what's up? Let's see. The neural matrix of this autonomous simulacrum retains an imprint of the template's original psyche embedded at its core level. Um, you lost me after... let's see. He means it may be possible to reverse the process. Dude, 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 what a trip. Cool, I guess. Uh, Al, we recovered a data disk from Nefarious' cruiser. Can you decode it? Of course. Hmm. Yes. Ooh. Omega class asymmetric encryption. <laughs> Finally, a challenge worthy of my skills. <laughs> oh, by the way, we found something interesting in Quark's quarters. Hey, if it's another crotchetizer, I don't even want to... It is a Quark vid comic. Specifically, it is episode five of the Dr. Nefarious series. But as everyone knows, only four issues were ever published. Not even my pals in the Quark Cadets fan club have ever heard of this issue. And those guys are real geeks, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I sure do. Thanks, Al. We'll check it out. This is the true story that Captain Quark hoped you would never see. The unauthorized, uncensored, and utterly unbelievable missing chapter of the Quark comic series. Pure discretion is advised. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so, Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But he was dead wrong. Bottoms up. Somebody say something. What took you so long? I was picking out some new curtains for the torture chamber. They're crushed velvet with a gold lame trim. Oh, I think they really add life to the space. Never mind that now. Grab Quark and let's get out of here. Of course, sir. Oh, Quark. I've never met a man like you. After you, I'll be ruined for other men. That's what they all say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Ah, where am I? You're in my secret prison, awaiting the most ingenious and depraved punishment I can possibly imagine. Come, Lawrence. It's time for my massage. Oh, goody. Using his antenna as a lockpick, Quark eventually managed to open the door to his cell. Almost got it. But his escape did not go unnoticed. Uh oh. Boy, 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 boy,
After his narrow escape from the clutches of Dr. Nefarious, Quark dropped out of the public eye. Truth is, Quark was holed up in his secret hideout on the Thran asteroid, terrified that Dr. Nefarious would make good on his promise of revenge. When Nefarious didn't resurface, Quark assumed he was gone forever and returned to his career as a high-profile celebrity superhero. But the galaxy had not seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Ouch! What do you think you're doing, you oaf? Do hold still, sir. This is a very delicate procedure. There, that should do the trick. Go ahead, take her for a spin. What's going on? Where are my arms? Whose butt is this? Oh, my mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. Laura! Oh, Lance. Oh, my. We will have to get that fixed. <laughs> One of these days. I should have known Quark was full of it. But why would Quark lie to us? Dude, Quark is bogus, bogus, bogus. You can ask him yourself when we see him. According to this vid comic, Quark has a secret hideout in the Thran asteroid belt. I've got a hunch he's there right now. <laughs> He says he wants to come with us. I don't think that... Oh, wait a minute. You speak monkey? Oh, just enough to get by. <laughs> now what? He says you have ears like a Florana dung beaver. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Let's see if he's still laughing when he finds out his pal Cork is working with Nefarious. Major Bogus. Surely Quark would never... He teamed up with Drek, didn't he? And I know I don't have to remind you about that protopet. Who knows what he's capable of? Quark. <laughs>